بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله من يهده الله فلا مذن له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أستك الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ظلالة وكل ظلالة في النار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So inshallah we'll continue from where we left off and uh, today's lesson will be shorter than, than the usual lessons We'll just finish off um, the fifth principle that we were going through uh, last week, inshallah, and, the, and then uh, we'll finish with the, the sixth principle next week and complete the book, inshallah. So uh, the Sheikh, um, he said, he says, فَذَكَرَ لَهُمْ عَلَامَةً الْإِيمَانْ وَتَقْوَى وَلِهَذَا مَنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنًا تَقِيًّا كَانَ لِلَّهِ وَلِيًّا وَالْوِلَايَةُ تَقُونُ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَالتَّقْوَى So the Shaykh says, continuing from uh, last week's lesson regarding what uh, a wali means or a friend of Allah and it's built upon uh, the taqwa of Allah and the iman. And so the person who has iman and has the taqwa of Allah, as the Shaykh mentioned last week, then this person is a wali of Allah. Um, and then the Sheikh goes on to say, he says, هَذَا أَمْرٌ وَادِحٌ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَأَصْبَحَ مَنْ يَفْعَلُ نَقِيدَ هَذَيْنَ الْأَمْرَيْنَ تُدْعَ لَهُ الْوِلَايَةِ So then he goes on to say, he says here that this affair, as mentioned, is clear in the book of Allah, as mentioned uh, last week. But he goes on to say that, sadly, what's happened is that the, a person who actually contradicts these two uh, points regarding iman and taqwa to be a wali then uh, the people have taken a person who is uh, is is in contradiction to those two points as a wali and they say that the person who obviously has no taqwa and has uh, has a problem with his iman has no taqwa then they they attribute uh, wilaya uh, to them so the Shaykh continues, he goes on to say, فِي بَابْ فِعْلَ الْأَوَامِرْ تَجِدُ فِي أَقْوَامٍ عَلَامَتُهُمْ أَقْوَامٍ عَلَامَتُهُمْ إِنْدَ أَصْحَابِهِمْ تَرْكَ الْأَوَامِرْ وَيُعْرَفُونَ إِنْدَ أَصْحَابِهِمْ بِمَاذَا بِالْأَوْلِيَاءِ تَجِدُهُ لَا يُسَلِّي تَجِدُهُ أَيْدًا لَا يَتُوفُ وَيُعْلَنْ ذَلِكَ يَقُولَ هذا كلام موجود في كتبهم وينشر يقول الولي هو الذي يتوف به البيت ليس هو الذي يذهب إلى البيت يتوف به وقد حدثت عن شخص أنه جاء ووصل إلى مكة ووقف ما طاف وقال لا الأولياء هم الذين يتوف بهم البيت بهم البيت وإمام الأولياء عليه الصلاة والسلام كم مرة طاف بالبيت حج واعتمر أربع مرات طاف بالبيت طوافا متكررا وهو إمام الأولياء عليه الصلاة والسلام ثم يدعي هؤلاء أن الولي لا يتوف بالبيت وأحقيته ومكانته أن البيت ب يتوف به حتى إنه في أحد كتب الفقه أقدت مسألة في كتاب في كتاب الصلاة مبينات أو مبينة على خرافة خرافة هؤلاء أو على خرافة هؤلاء أقدت مسألة أقدت مسألة في كتاب الصلاة. so uh, we we'll just stop there for a second. So the Sheikh, uh, he goes on to say that 
he says that in in the in, in the topic or subject of uh, acting upon the commandments, he says that you won't find uh, these people who who uh, who are said to be called the Holy of Allah. Many of them you won't find them praying like the Sheikh mentioned previously. They won't be praying. They won't be carrying out all the commandments that Allah has commanded them with. Uh, but there'll be uh, this attribute of uh, of of wilaya will be will, will be applied to them wrongly, of course. The Sheikh says you 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 find them you won't find you you find them not praying. You know you uh, you know you find them. For example, another example says you find them not circumambulating. Uh, the uh, the Kaaba, and what he means by that is he goes on to say that he said he says that those people say that the Oliya, the Oliya of Allah, they don't circumambulate the house, i.e. the Kaaba. Rather, the house, the Kaaba, it circumambulates them. Um, so he goes on to say, but he the the, the Sheikh he says that this isn't what you what, what is really said. You know, this is not what's followed. However, the people, they, they, these people, they say this, and he says that this type of speech it's present in their books and it's uh, spread as well amongst the people and the general folk. So uh, you know, this is the type of speech, for example, that's spread amongst the general folk. Uh, a wali, a friend of Allah, uh, uh, or a wali, uh, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, circumambulate. The house or the Kaaba, it's the Kaaba that circumambulates around him. And the Sheikh goes on to say that he was spoken to about this. Somebody spoke to him uh, about another person uh, who came to Mecca and he he was he stopped, you know, in front of the Kaaba and he wasn't uh, circumambulating, you know, doing tawaf. Uh, and he uh, and he said no. He said no. He said the Oliya. Yeah, the Oliya, for the Oliya, the house of Allah, you know, the, the Kaaba circumambulates around them. They don't circumambulate around the Kaaba. So uh, th this is what was said. And the Sheikh goes on to tell us, he says here that the Imam of the Oliya, our Prophet Muhammad, wasalam, how many times did he uh, circumambulate the Kaaba? And we know the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi who is the best of creation, who is the one who has the most taqwa, the one who is the head of the awliya of Allah. He um, circumambulated the tawaf of, of Allah's house. You know, when he made Hajj and Umrah uh, four times in his lifetime, he uh, he circumambulated the, the Kaaba uh, repeatedly, as we know. And the Sheikh says, and he is the Imam of the Awliya, alayhi salatu wasalam. So then the Sheikh says, then uh, you, you get these people, you get these so-called ones who claim uh, wilaya, they're saying, oh, you know, this person's a wali of Allah, and saying uh, such false speech about, oh, the Awliya of Allah, do not circumambulate the Kaaba, rather the Kaaba circumambulates around them. You know, this kind of foolish speech that they come with and lies. So the Sheikh continues, he says, he says, up until the point that in one of the, their books of fiqh, in one of their books of fiqh, um, uh, uh, an affair, a mas'ala uh, was discussed in their books regard, on, in the chapter of the book of prayer, Kitab salah Yeah, and it was, it was regarding this superstition, which, which the Sheikh uh, clarified to us, the superstition about uh, it you know the house uh, the, the the Kaaba uh, circumambulates the Oliya and the Oliya do not circumambulate the Kaaba you know with the, uh, these kinds of superstitions that they come with and so if up until the point that in the book uh, there's a section to discuss this masala that they've got there you know they actually take this seriously which obviously is based on no evidence at all and it was under the Kitab of Salah so. So they 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 had this masala regarding uh, this issue of theirs. Obviously, for them it was an issue, as in they said uh, they said ila dhahabat al Kaaba tatuf bil awliya ila aina yusalli al nas. So they said that if the Kaaba is circumambulating uh, 
around the awliya, then where do the people pray? Because they believe this superstition. They actually, from there, they start discussing this so-called uh, uh, issue that could arise. And the Sheikh says, "Hadi masalatun fiqhiya." He goes. He says in amazement, "Is this an uh, is this uh, an affair to be discussed with regards to fiqh, which has no basis or anything?" So the Sheikh continues. He says, "Qala sahibul kitab." اختلف أهل العلم في هذه المسألة على قولين قال بعض العلماء يسلون إلى الكعبة باعتبار الأصل وباعتبار أن الناس لا يستطيعون معرفة أين ذهبت الكعبة إذا حضر إذا حضر وقت الصلاة إذا حضر وقت الصلاة وفرض أن الكعبة ذهبت إلى الهند إيش يا أي إيش يعلم الناس أن الكعبة وإيش يعلم الناس أن الكعبة في الهند أو في إفريقيا فقال يصلون إلى مكان الكعبة باعتبار الأصل ولعدم التمكن هذا قول uh, So we'll just stop there for a second So then the sheikh he says He says that in the, this so-called masala of theirs they, they said that uh, uh, in, in, in one of their books They said that the, the people of knowledge have differed in this affair Upon two uh, views The first view They said that some of the scholars Said that you know You, you pray towards the direction of the Kaaba uh, Considering its original position So even if the Kaaba has gone yeah, So even if the Kaaba has gone To circumambulate around the Wali Or the Oliya Then you take it the original position where it was Yeah so that's what he said with the, uh, regards to the, uh, their first first view And obviously all of this is false Remember this is from their books of falsehood So just to make sure So we're not uh, getting mixed up here Then the the second false view of theirs Was uh, as the Sheikh mentions here He says فَقَالَ يُسَلُّونَ إِلَى مَكَانَ الْكَعْبَ بِتِبَارِ الْأَسَلِ وَلِيَدْمِ التَّمَكُنْ هذا قول القول آخر لا لا بد أن يتحر الناس أين ذهبت الكعبة ويستقبلونها ويستقبلونها هذا بحث في أحد الكتب. So then uh, the sheikh he, he goes on to say uh, that the, the second false uh, uh, view is that no, the person shouldn't take its original position, but rather they should investigate and find out where it went. So they need to find out where it went, and when they find out where it has gone. The Kaaba, then they should uh, basically take that position as the direction of prayer. So obviously this is um, craziness and falsehood, but not based on any evidence. But the Sheikh says, surprisingly, this is actually found in some of their books. And he's quoting directly from their books, yeah, that, that what, he's, what he's seen himself. So the Sheikh goes on to say, he says, وَفِي كُتُبٍ تُرَوِّجْ ترويج عند العوام وفيها مثل هذه الخرافات وتنشر على أنها على, 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 على أنها علامة للأولياء. So then the Sheikh says that this is the type of things that you'll find in their books. These kinds of superstitious uh, uh, um, types of speech and texts and things that they discuss, you'll find them in their books, and these are spread amongst the the, the general folk and uh, you know about the Oliya and all these weird things. Uh, so the Sheikh says, لا صلاة ولا طواف ولا إبادة ويدعي فيه أنه ولي من أولياء الله. So the Sheikh says that the, no prayer, there's no prayer with these guys. They don't pray. They, they, they don't do tawaf. They, they don't circumambulate the Kaaba. Uh, they don't uh, do any kind of worship. And then it's claimed that they are from the uh, the wali uh, walis of Allah, Jalla Wala. Yeah. Uh, from the friends of Allah, how can they be? Because we, we know that from the Quran and Sunnah that the person has to have taqwa and um, uh, the person has to have iman and the person has to, uh, you know, carry out the commandments that Allah is commanding to do, especially the obligatory commandments, as in, for example, prayer, uh, you know, for example, fasting month of Ramadan, etc. But obviously, you, you find that these people, you don't find them doing any of this. Uh, so clearly, for somebody who's upon the correct guidance and has the correct evidence, as the Sheikh has discussed, then we'll know clearly that you know the person's an imposter uh, and he's not really a wali. And then we know that there's a two 
uh, from the last uh, uh, last week's lesson that there's two levels of wilaya and the first one is that the person who stays away from all kinds of uh, prohibitions haram that Allah has made haram upon him and carries out all the obligations that Allah has obligated him to carry out and then the second level is more than that where the person does the what what is required of the first level and more like the optional nawafil, you know, extra good deeds and all this. This is the second level and that's the higher level. But they require that you stay away from the haram and make sure that you carry out the obligatory acts as a minimum. And if the person's not praying there, if they're not praying and, and, and you know, and they're not, you know, they go, for example, Umrah and then they're not doing the tawaf. And can you imagine if you go to, you know, if you go, to the house uh, and for example let's say if you're making umrah then it's required upon you to do the tawaf if you're not doing the tawaf then there's no umrah for you if that was the intention for example so uh, living in a, in a dangerous situation like that and especially the person's not praying it's a serious matter uh, so then the shaykh uh, continues and he says وَهُوَ وَلِيٌ لِلشَّيْطَانِ بِلَا شَكْ بِلَا شَكْمْ وَلَا رَيْبْ e, وَاللَّهِ وَلِيٌّ لِلشَّيْطَانِ لَيْسَ وَلِيٌّ لِلرَّحْمَانِ وَمَا كَانُوا أَوْلِيَاءَ لَا تَكُونُ الْوِلَايَةِ بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الدِّيَاءِ وَالْبَاطِلِ So the Shaykh goes on to say and he concludes with which, which is the correct speech from analyzing what he said and he says this person that claims to be a wali and clearly is not rather he's not a wali of Allah he is a wali of the shaytan Without a doubt at all And then he says by Allah He is a friend of the shaitan And is not a friend of the Rah- Ar-Rahman I.e. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And then the shaykh quotes uh, an ayah From Surah Al-Anfal Which I believe we mentioned last week وَمَا كَانُوا أَوْلِيَاءَ And they weren't from the awliya His awliya Yeah So the shaykh says لَا تَكُونُ الْوِلَايَةَ بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْدِيَاءُ الْبَاطِلِ and, and there's no such thing as this Friendship with Allah or this wilaya uh, with the likes of these descriptions that these people have. You know, uh, uh, the, uh, they hear the adhan, they're sitting down, not going to pray. The previous examples the Shaykh gave, uh, going to the house of Allah, not circumambulating around it and saying, oh no, this this person's a wali, the Kaaba circumambulates around him. You know, all these superstitions and uh, falsehood. And the Shaykh mentions that this is just all loss and falsehood. So then the Shaykh goes on to say, he says, in the highlighted text here, he says, وَأَيْدًا جَانِبُ التَّقْوَى لَا تَرَاهَ فِيهِ وَأَنَا أَتَحَدَّثُ عَنْ غُلَاتْ هَأُولَى لَا تَرَاهَ لَا تَرَاهَ فِيهِمْ تَرَاهُ يُمَارِسُ بَعْدُ الْمُحَرَّمَاتِ بِسْمِ الْوِلَايَةِ يُمَارِسُ بَعْدُ الْمُحَرَّمَاتِ الصَّرِيحَةِ الْوَادِحَةِ الْبَيِّنَةِ فَقَوْلِهِ تعالى وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةٌ وَسَاءَ السَّبِيلَ يُمَارِسُهُ بِسْمِ الْوِلَايَةِ وَقَدْ قَرَأْتُ فِي بَعْدِ الْكُتُبِ الْقَدِيمَةِ لِهَاؤُلَاءِ وَحَدَّثَنِي بَعْدَ الْمُحْتَدِينَ مِنْ هَاؤُلَاءِ بِمَا أَذْكَرَهُ بِمَا أُذَكِرُ لَكُمْ الْآنْ أو بما أذكره لكم الآن أن المريد يأتي إلى شيخ الطريقة المزعوم أنه ولي يأتي المريد إليه في ليلة زواجه ويأتي بزوجته بكرا إلى شيخه ويتوصل إليه ويتذلل بين يديه أن يتكرم بافتضاد بكارتها ثم يخل بها ويفقد بكارتها من أجل البركة ثم تخرج من عنده ويقبل هذا المريد قدمي شيخه شكرا له على هذا الإحسان وربما أعطاه أيضا جزيل أعطاه أيضا جزيل جزيل مال أو جزيل مال على إحسانه له هذا يمارس باسم الولاية زنا والعياذ بالله وفواش وأمور منكرة to malis bism al-wilaya ha ulai awliya al-shaytan e wallahi laysu awliya allah ala inna awliya allah la khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun man kana mu'minan taqiyan kana lillahi waliyan 
فلما اختلطت الأمور على الناس أصبحت هذه العلامة غير واضحة عندهم وأصبحت وأصبحت العلامة عندهم خرافات بثت وضلالات نشرت بين الناس وأصبحت هي المقياس. So uh, pay attention to this. It's quite important. <coughs> and the Sheikh he goes on to say. He says and also with regards to a taqwa. He says that you don't see it in these people. And he says I'm talking about the extreme, the extreme of these people. The, you know the ones at the top, the extremes, the the ones who are in the extremes. Um, and he says that you won't see the taqwa in them. And rather, he says you'll see them practicing prohibitions, the muharramat, in the name of wilaya. In the name of wilaya, they'll be practicing all sorts of bad things Allah's made haram for them un- under this banner of wilaya. And there's no wilaya for them, of course, but they- they're practicing it under this. So they, like, for example, practice all sorts of... Um, uh, sinful acts, muharramat, that are clear as day for anybody they realize when they look at it, oh, that's wrong. You know, that's haram, that what they're doing. You know, it's that clear that they're doing is haram. Um, and then the Sheikh brings an ayah from Surah Al Isra that don't come near to zina, for indeed zina is a grave sin, it's from the major sins, and it takes you away from the straight path. Uh, from verse 32. Of Al uh, Surah Al Isra, and and th- there's a reason why he mentioned this ayah. So he he mentions something that he heard from uh, some of the people who uh, were upon misguidance from the Muslims, and then when they received guidance, uh, uh, when Allah guided them to the Quran and the Sunnah, then you know they told their stories what people used to do or what their so-called scholars or sheikhs or uh, walis and etc used to do and so the shaykh goes on to say that you know these these people uh, they will they practice by under the banner of wilaya uh, they practice all sorts of haram things you know uh, muharramat so the shaykh says and i read in some of the books old books of these people and also some of the people that he says that some of the people that were guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Quran and the Sunnah from their stories in the past or what they experienced or what they saw or what they heard from people. Um, uh, and so the Sheikh says, I'll, I'll mention uh, I'll, I'll mention one of them. And he says that there was a person who was, a, as they say, murid, you know, of, of a peer or a Sheikh, so-called Sheikh. Uh, and he came to his uh, Sheikh of his tariqah. So it's a Sufi Sheikh. Sheikh. Uh, and Obviously, they took this person as a wali. So this murid, he came to him uh, 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 when he got married at the, um, at, the, uh, at the night of his wedding, when he was married. He got married and he came to him with his wife. So he comes to this so-called sheikh, of course, not a sheikh. It's not a wali either. Um, but to them, obviously, at the time, because of the falsehood, they took him as a wali uh, or a holy person, you know. Um, or one person who's uh, uh, upon taqwa, etc. Um, so he took his wife to uh, this uh, sheikh of his or peer of his, and you know to and you know in front of him, and you know humbling himself in front of him with his wife, and he wanted you know his uh, generosity. Requesting his generosity and his blessing, etc., like this. So, to, in order to do that, he left his uh, newly uh, his his wife, who is newly married, newly wed. Le- he leaves his wife with this so-called sheikh and leaves them two together. The husband disappears to then take this woman's virginity in the name of blessing. Yeah. For the sake of getting blessings. And and then afterwards when he returns to his sheikh to collect his wife. He, you know, gets down on his knees and, you know, he kisses the feet of this sheikh. In thanks to him for what he's done 
for his ihsan. And this might be hard to believe, but, but this happens. These are the things that happen with the, when people are, you know, so far deep down in jahl and ignorance and where they don't, you know, where their elders on these so-called, so-called sheikhs and peers or wherever they may be who are on falsehood stop the people from seeking knowledge. And then you end up with this mass ignorance and these people control them and do all these kinds of nasty, despicable actions as mentioned here. And the Sheikh says that also, uh, apart from doing all that, what he did, kissing his feet and thanking him for his, uh, uh, you know, doing good, which obviously is, <laughs> is not doing good, is it? But they think he's doing good. Yeah. Uh, doing all of this, he may even give him uh, a big lump sum, uh, you know, a lump sum of uh, his wealth as well. In thanks to what he's done. Um, so the Sheikh says that they do these kinds of things in the name of Wilaya. So the Sheikh says that the person, this so-called person, has fornicated. Why he says he says wa'udu billah, and he's committed a major sin, and cleared evil, of course, in the name of Wilaya. And he says that with exclamation mark, as you can see there. Um, then the Sheikh goes on to say, he says, "How will our Oliya Shaitan?" He says that these are the Oliya of the Shaitan, really. He says that these are the awliya of the shaitan. And he says, by Allah, they are not the awliya of Allah. And he mentions uh, the ayah that we uh, that we did mention last week as well. We go to Surah Yunus, verse 62 and 63. <clears throat> no doubt, verily, the awliya of Allah, i.e. those who believe in the oneness of Allah and fear Allah much, abstain from all kinds of sins and evil deeds which he has forbidden and, and love Allah much, perform all kinds of good deeds which he has ordained no fear shall come upon them, nor shall they grieve. Those who believed in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, and used to fear Allah much by abstaining from evil deeds and sins and by doing righteous deeds. So we can see from this ayah and it's it's uh, the translation of its meaning uh, uh, meanings that we can see that what the true uh, the true uh, wali is. And when we look at this paragraph that the Sheikh has explained to us here, we clearly know that those people, that person who was thought to be a wali is actually not a wali of Allah Jalla because why? because he's falling into major sins he's committing major sins in the name of Wilai and we know that nobody is free for doing major sins you know if you, if you commit a sin it's a sin it doesn't matter who you are you know a sin is a sin you commit and you can't say that oh I'm doing good deeds and then you're you're going against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here. For example, the ayah that we read earlier, Wala taqrabu zina. Don't come even close to zina. Never mind doing it. Don't even come close to it. You know? So, um, the shaykh clarifies that for us here. And also he mentions, Man kana mu'minan taqiyan kana lai waliyan. <clears throat> so the shaykh says also, whoever is a believer and has taqwa, then he is for Allah a wali. So there's, you got to be a believer and you have to have taqwa. To reach that first, you know, to be on that first level of a uh, wali. Uh, and it means, it doesn't mean just saying, oh, I believe in Allah, and oh, yeah, I have taqwa, but actually actualizing it. And that is by following Allah's commandments and carrying out your obligations and staying away from the prohibitions. That's the first level of uh, a wilaya, as the Sheikh mentioned. Uh, may, Allah, uh, uh, may Allah preserve him uh, last week. <clears throat> so then he goes on to say that the um, <clears throat> that when these affairs, when some of these affairs have become mixed up in the people, and and the uh, the, uh, the sign of uh, and the sign of wilaya, the sign of wilaya became unclear. Then the people started, you know, taking these the likes of these superstitions that had been broadcasted everywhere to the people, spread to the people that they took that as their yardstick. They use that as their measure measurement, you know, all these like uh, um, superstitions and the likes of what the sheikh, some of the examples you mentioned, they took that as their yardstick and said, oh, this person's a wali. You know, one who, for example, sits down, doesn't get up, doesn't go to pray, or, you know, they start taking these people. So as you can see that the affairs have become mixed up and uh, turned in the opposite direction. So the sheikh, he goes on to say, uh, two as he says, well, he al -musannif. So he's referring to the original author, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, uh, He says, well, he al -musannif. So the Sheikh 
الخلق حفاظ الشرع إلى أن الأولياء لا بد فيهم من ترك اتباع الرسول يعني أصبحت العلامة للولي ما هي ترك الاتباع ترك الدين ترك الشرع هذه علامة مثل ما مثلت لكم ببعض الأمثلة So then the Sheikh says in this paragraph here that so the affair once it became mixed up with the people the affair be, reached to a, such a point that uh, people started to believe that the person who leaves the sunnah doesn't follow the sunnah doesn't follow the sharia of Allah uh, uh, and uh, the likes of these things and doesn't follow the way of the Prophet Sallallahu that this person has, is a wali this is how it became and as the Sheikh he mentions as uh, he gave examples previously and then he goes on to say وَمَنْ تَبَعْهُمْ فَلَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ يَعْنِي مَنْ تَبَعَ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ وَصَارَ عَلَى مِنْ مِنْ عَلَى مِنْ هَاجِهِمْ لَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ لِأَنَّهُ لَا يَكُونُ مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا بِتَرْكِ الْإِتِبَاءِ هَكَذَا فَهِمْتُ الْأُمُورِ So also, likewise, um, so for the people who followed the, the, the way of the messengers, the people of the sunnah, Ahlul Sunnah, so then those people saw the people who are following the way of the sunnah as not from those people either. So you can see how the scales have been tipped the other way around. And the Sheikh goes on to say in the last paragraph, and inshallah we'll stop here today, and then we'll continue the uh, sixth principle and the final principle of this book and complete it next week. So in the final paragraph, the Sheikh says, وَلَا بُدَّ مِن تَرْكِ الْجِهَادِ فَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَلَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ وَلَا بُدَّ مِن تَرْكِ الْإِيمَانِ وَتَقْوَى فَمَنْ uh, so the Sheikh also says then he says from the uh, quoting the original author also that the person to be part of this wilaya the false wilaya of theirs the person had, has to leave al-jihad fighting in the path of Allah so whoever fights in the, uh, uh, so whoever is from that then he's not from them and it's and they believe also it's incumbent that the person leaves iman and his taqwa and whoever you know uh, you know uh, is uh, firmly upon his iman or taqwa then he's not from them. So this is how it's become. And he says hadi al makayis alati fi fil ayat tar fil ayat tarkaha hi al wilaya aspahat wal amal biha leisa min al wilaya fi shayin kulibat al umur wali hada daa al musannifu bihadi daawat qala Ya Rabbana nas'aluka lafu wa lafiyata innaka sami'u dua And so the Sheikh says that it's become such a way, he explains what the original author said and he goes on to say that he says that the measurements and the yardstick, it's, 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 uh, it's been tipped over on its head. It's, it's the opposite, it's completely opposite and, 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 uh, and incorrect. And this is how the people have become uh, in the present, uh, in the time of writing and also in our times as well. We, we, we hear about these things as well. And even maybe some of us may have even witness this. And the Sheikh says, in reality, all of this is, is not wilaya and that the affairs have become tipped and, you know, become reversed. And so the Sheikh says that this is why the original author, Sheikh Al-Mujadid Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab, he, he, at the end of his book, he, he mentioned this dua, that, oh, uh, oh, our Lord, we ask you for... Uh, for forgiveness uh, and to excuse us and, to, and for strength. Uh, indeed, you are the one who hears the supplications. Yeah, with the rough uh, uh, translation of that. So, um, the Sheikh stops there. So, inshallah, we will stop there as well and we'll um, continue uh, next week and it will be our final lesson for this book, inshallah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll start fresh with the sixth principle. And we only have about three pages left, so we should be able to complete the book within uh, within an hour, inshallah, from next week onwards on Friday. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant wa astaghfiruka wa tubilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.